Welcome. In front of me is a Xiaomi Poco M4 Pro and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now, before I get started, I'll mention a phone I have right here is locked. You can see this tiny little icon right here that signifies that obviously uh, the phone is locked and I'm going to progress a little bit through the setup just so you can uh, see the pop-up right there or the screen that will just kind of stop me from progressing any further. Now for that I do need to sign into my Wi-Fi so I'm going to do that really quickly. Yep, there we go. Uh, now obviously you want to also connect to your Wi-Fi. Uh, so as you can see I have connected right here. And once you connect I just want to stay on the page uh, with the network connection. Now the reason why I'm going further is just simply to show you that uh, the device is actually locked. So there we go, there is the pattern, and by clicking right here I can use also Google account. So, to get started with the bypass we're gonna, or I will go back to the Wi-Fi connection page right here. Uh, hopefully you are still on here. So from here, scroll all the way down to add network. In SSID you wanna type in youtube.com. There we go. And from here, hold the text. This will select the entire thing and will give you a chain link icon, which will redirect you to YouTube. From here, you wanna click on the account icon and then help and feedback. And then describe your issue right at the top, type in delete. This will show up a suggested option at delete or disable apps on Android. So select that one and then tap on the first thing, so tap to go to application settings. And you want to select more and choose show system, which will show you the system processes that are running on the device. And you want to start off by selecting Android setup right here. And then select disable, disable app, then go back, scroll a little bit down and you have another Android setup. Click on that one and select for stop and okay, then go back, scroll down to Google Play Services. There we go, Google Play Services. I'm gonna click on them and then select Disable, Disable App, and also for Stop. Go back, scroll even further down to Settings. So right here, uh, you should see two different settings. So we have Settings here and Settings here. I believe the one that we're looking for is the first one. Yep. So you're looking for the one that has the uh, open option, which as you can see, this one does. Once you open it up, you wanna scroll down to additional settings, right over here. Navigate to accessibility and enable accessibility menu, right over here. Select allow. This will give you a little pop-up that we have this little guy right here. So great, that's what we're looking for. So once you have enabled this, we're now going to go back to the setup. There we go. And I'm going to press further to continue the setup. And once it starts checking for update, as you can see, it kind of just goes, uh, what is it? just a sec or something like that, and then goes back to uh, checking for updates. We're gonna be stuck here for basically uh, all the time. So to uh, basically bypass this now, we will want to press the little guy right here for the accessibility menu. This will bring up well, the accessibility menu. And in here, I'm gonna select Google Assistant. And once you press it, it shows up settings, uh, which you can see disappears after a moment. So you want to press on settings. Uh, this uh, in, in turns will open up the Google Play services page with a enable option right here, I believe it is. And you want to quickly press on the enable. Now this won't be done right away. Like you won't probably get it by the first try for the majority of you, unless you're really lucky. So you will want to just continuously uh, like repeat the process till you manage to enable it. So see how many times it takes me. 
Ah, oh, that took me three tries apparently. So there we go. Uh, like I said, this uh, might not be the case for everybody, but you just want to continuously press the accessibility menu, uh, assistant, settings, and then I want to press on the enable. Once you've enabled the uh, Google Play services, go back once, click somewhere on the screen to get rid of this, and this will now just go to the next page. Now, as you can see, uh, it completely skips the page where it tells us to verify the Google account. So we can now finish up the setup of our phone. At this point, you want to just select whatever. It doesn't really matter what you choose. You, all you want to do is get access to the home screen. So as you can see, we can now see our home screen. So from here, you want to navigate to settings and scroll. Actually, no, we don't need to scroll. It's right here in about phone. We're looking for factory reset. So there we go. And in here, you want to select erase all data at the bottom, then factory reset, select next, and then OK. Now, I won't be going over this in the video simply because this is just a factory reset of the device, which is required for this to be uh, completed, the bypass. Uh, and the reason for that is performing a factory reset right here by clicking on OK uh, will remove the Google account and the previously used pattern, in my case, on this device and thus fully unlock the device. Now, the reason why I'm not going to go over this on the video is just because it's a factory reset, like I mentioned, which only takes a couple minutes to finish up. And then uh, you're presented with a setup screen again, which I'm pretty sure you know how to finish up. Uh, the setup screen is just a typical one. You can just go through it however you like. You don't need to do any kind of bypassing anymore. The device at that point is already fully unlocked. So there we go. Uh, like I said, press the OK button and at that point you're completely done with the process. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.